You care if I put that on YouTube? No, I don't care. All right. Cosmo got signed this for Curtis. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, he's, this is Curtis right here. He's, All right. The, the female could understand English good enough to know that he was lying. <laughs> I spent 10 years building the thing. Okay, okay. With the Oscars, my retarded brother. <laughs> They're telling everybody they built it. I said, hey, can I show you some of my modifications? He said, I've been talking to the builder. I looked over at my brother. <laughs> he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, uh, let's get your picture. Let's get the builder in here. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> if he had an ejection seat, I would have used it. And I thought it was dying. So you had to just ride it out and you wound up yeah. recovering. Yeah. yeah. It, it, uh, it was one of the flaps, the flaps were fluttering and one of them stuck down, which called it to roll. Everybody said it won't work. Anyway, but it worked. It did. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I took it to Oshkosh. So this is called a BD-5. Yeah. seminar was given by NASA retired rocket scientist. Okay. And after his talk, I went up and showed him some pictures of my homemade stuff. Yeah? He said, no, 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 that'll never work. You know. So anyway, year, years go by, three or four years, and I fly it up there. What formula did you use to calculate the size? And I said, well, I tried one that was too little and one that was too big, and the NASA just had kind of a Goldilocks formula. Yeah. You know, he didn't <laughs> crack a smile he said his his had a p51 you know what that is yeah he's he said his had a p51 cooling scoop on it so the air went in there and got heated by the radiator and it shot out the back and gave him three extra knots uh, so he said well how's your cooling system work i said well, that scoop under there masses that air up against those cylinder fans and it gets real hot and it shoots out and it gives me five extra knots. he just you know <laughs> He knew exactly where that was coming <laughs> from, no, and he, he, he would, did, they, I don't think he did, because yeah. he, he's so, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's very dangerous. I just saw something on uh, Facebook, said 56% uh, of those uh, fatal flights on the first flight. Wow. They sold like 2,800 kits and a few hundred have flown. So what is the moment that you decided you was going to hang it up in here? Well, what happened, I flew it for 10 years, roughly, and I cracked the both wings, the skin. It's, no, it's not a structural thing, but that's where your fuel is, and I didn't want to go through all the work to redo it, and, and I knew it was dangerous as hell, so. You had your fun, you cheated it. Exactly. Hanging so, up here. Well, D Wayne wanted it and I said, well, come get it, you know, because this is where it will be. It's oh, I can. A, yeah, because yeah, if it was in storage and you and a couple of guys, the only ones yeah. that know about it, and this way you come in here and everybody that sees it, it's like, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like me. I very much appreciate you telling me about it. Well, thank you.